you see aptitude uh, to some extent is gene factor but attitude can be I among mean, that change aptitude can be nurtured and nourished to better skill developing skill but attitude can be changed but uh, it is like uh, pulling the tooth of a lion it becomes toothless lion it doesn't become lamb yeah, but so many of the failures happen because people uh, become a square peg in a round hole you see in the school days itself we have to decide what will what will be your uh, career path uh, i have found uh, you see in um, uh, many of my classmates uh, right in the schools colleges and even engineering college and the iim they are not the the brightest did not succeed somewhere in the middle all around they succeed i i was an all rounder in the school i got the i was judged as best outgoing student uh, there were a couple of students who were better than me on uh, educational uh, academic level now uh, the, the, the in i am i asked the uh, professors why are these uh, the graduates from here are uh, intellectually arrogant that is uh, why many of those uh, graduates from i am fail in life because of intellectual right they said it is because of superior intelligence it will tend to make them arrogant uh, that is the nature of human being you see the basically soft skills that is uh, what is needed more in uh, should come from school level itself and uh, uh, handling capacity to pe- handling people is the greatest virtue that is what is needed in life Uh, 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 application of your brain intelligence into a job. There are many who don't apply and they fail. And capacity to ask, uh, it was made out of just now talk, capacity to stand failures, hard work. You know, the people who are not very bright will try to make up by working, put up, compensate it by working very hard. Now, uh, uh, you see the... Uh, the 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 academically brilliant people of course they have better knowledge and uh, they have uh, grasping power but uh, that is not all that, that needed there are many other things are needed my experience uh, talking about my school days uh, uh, actually i feel uh, i was molded uh, right in school days and that went in helping me in uh, succeeding of course e revolution has brought in uh, all the knowledge you can get at the finger tip but uh, the internet uh, has become a double edged sword in the sense uh, people get addicted to it and uh, uh, going into the violence and uh, the rest of it now the over a period of time now because of this uh, knowledge availability the the school the, the children have become a questioning generation they don't listen to the parents they think parents are inferior to them they may tend to listen to their uh fellow students uh, it it, it come, brought in uh, the system of group learning group learning there is one advantage is uh, they can pack their standard compare their standard with the other students where they are uh, uh <clears throat> many things which i heard in my life uh, in school days are still lingering on my ears uh you see headmaster our headmaster used to give lectures You see, that is something different from what you learn in these classes. And I remember he was talking about Lord Nelson's speech, England expects every man will do his duty. That is still in my, ring, in my ears, patriotism. The, way the, the patriotism is equally important. Now, and the uh, same headmaster was talking about uh, what is written in the Bible about the Jesus uh, feeding the multitude of people. with uh, five breads and two fishes and he i we thought we are going to talk about that particular but focus was jesus said collect the waste in baskets not waste it so that wasting when i went into factory management uh, that uh, claim in my mind wastage cover prevent wastage is one thing which can improve the performance of the factory i uh, we in the schools during lunch time half an hour to 45 minutes we used to uh, be in the we used to meet in groups and uh, we used to debate and i was the secretary of that uh, debating society that of course improved confidence as well as the 
communication skill you know after all when you go higher and higher up in the ladder communication skill become very very important uh, then uh, certain small things like grammar our teacher used to tell us the difference between likeness and liking and he said drama has a likeness or jilebi means he will look like jilebi liking for jilebi is the right word these are all the things are still when i talk i talk think about the grammar grammatical things that the teacher has taught me see equally important is scriptures uh, the, the 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 ethics part of it are you for truth are you for fairness are you for doing things beneficial to, beneficial to all concerned are you going to do things will 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 it build better friendship this all in the school days by moving in people and also importantly sports and games see team building together everybody achieves more as it was spent out you know in football even if the man gets a chance to score he will pass it on to the man who has got a better stand, chance to score then he is prepared to sacrifice the glory for the sake of the team and even i am a tennis player you know when i play doubles i always we we share each other we try to cover up the weakness of other man that is why when you grow up in ladder when the success comes when you when you are uh, subordinate get a feeling gets a feeling that you are going to support him and his weakness will be covered uh these are the things i thought basically i should share with you